Welcome back Kendra Guardians. Today is just a short guide on materials and where to find them. So thank you to the sub that suggested this. I should have ran over this the last time, but here we are. Monument to Lost Lights. So in the previous video I showed you just what this was and where you could find find it. So we'll take a look. Let's say you want lumen luminaire lumina? I don't know. Anyway, uh you can see the different sort of um, requirements that you need for it. So you need an exotic cipher, which you can get from Zur. Uh, Glimmer, just done by completing activities. Baryon Bow and Ascendant Shards, mainly are the sort of the ones that we'll be covering. Uh, Baryon Bow, you can see here for this one, Microphysic Data Lattice. Spoils of Conquest as well. And there should be a few more. Yes, dusk light shards, spin metal leaves, and I think that is the majority of them. There might be some in here. No, well, I'll show you my inventory anyway. So these are the 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 materials. So you've got your microphysic data lattice, and you can see here it says it's found on Nessus. Then you've got your glacial startwort, which is found in Europa. You've got your Baryon Bay or whatever it's pronounced. That'll be in the Dreaming City. This is your Dusk Lake Shard. It's in the EDZ. That'll be in yeah, it'll be in the EDZ. Uh, the spin metal leaves in the Cosmodrome, and helium filaments in the Moon. You'll also need um, Ascendant Shards, which can be found only, well, they can be found in various locations. There are a few towards the end of the, uh, the Season Pass. There's, so there's three there. Um, they can also be found through vendors and completing um, rank rewards i'll show you with shax here just because he's close so ah, one of our brightest yes you can returns. see here so whenever you complete the ranks with any of the vendors you'll get um ascended shards so i'll go back here and i'll show you the spo spoils of conquest the spoils of conquest are probably the most tricky ones to get because they require opening of raid chests. So these sort of exotics would be sort of the, the trickier ones to buy because just because of the currency that they use. Um, but I will show you where to find um, the, just, the, just the bog standard ones. Um, I'll run through the locations and we'll see if we can just pick up any along the way so we will just start in the edz so she'll just try trots land here they could be found anywhere so if we don't find any within i don't know a minute or so we'll just move on to the next location they are um sometimes they can be tricky enough to find but hopefully if you can if I'm able to spot them, it should be a good guide for you guys to see. Oh, that's the 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 the, the material that I need. But we'll give it a go here anyway. Plus, if you want more material, it's a good place to test out your new guns after buying. So we are looking for Dusklight shards. See if we can find anything. You're usually sitting along side somewhere. Um, get away. Oh, dusk light. There we go. Go away. So that's your dusk light shards there. You can see we just collected one of them. So what we'll do now then is we will go to the Cosmodrome and see if we can get the 
the other material. I've forgotten the name of it. See if we can get the spin metal leaves. That's what it is. And just while we're traveling there, um, I'll also point out that you can get these materials in your your season pass as well. They come in these wee boxes and it's quite handy. Just whenever you progress through them, you get 50 of each. But we'll try this. This uh, Cosmodrome. I think these should be easier to find. Because they're shiny. It's the only reason. It's just because they're shiny. So let's have a look see. Again, they're usually lying around the edge somewhere. Um, I think there's usually some over here. Somewhere. Nope, not here. Um, go away. Wonder is there any land about? There it is. So this is the sort of thing you'll be looking for for your spin metal leaves. Um, like it's it is once you spot them there are they are easy to find but it's just trying to find them um next we will go to nessus and we will just let's just go to the watcher's grave just to have a nosy um yeah they like i said once that once you find them they are quite noticeable, but it's just trying to find them sometimes can be tricky enough. Um, I think they also drop at the end of chests, and uh, like if you're doing in chests at the end of activities and stuff, they might drop there depending on where the location of the activity was. So let's just have a look around here, see. See if we can find any land about somewhere. Love these guys just to stop shooting at me. Don't mean any harm. Well, I do, but listen. It'd be what it be. Get in the bin. Oh, he dropped a chest. Let's see, does that have anything in it? Any materials? Nope, just glimmer. And a weapon. That's fine. Oh, there's some over there. So this is what the uh, the micro lattice, whatever. The vexy stuff. There you go. Drops one. Uh, we'll go now to Dreaming City, and ah, uh, yeah, there's only one place we can't go in here. The Devilia Mists. See if we can find that Byron Bow or Bow or however you want to pronounce it. Don't hate me if I'm butchering the pronunciation. That is what it is. But I'll, I think, I will have um videos on each of the locations for, for those that are interested just what's there what sort of things you can vet you can expect what sort of enemies there's going to be um i'll make sure i'll try and pick up any materials i find along the way as well just so you can keep seeing where where to find them so this is the Dreaming City. Where to find? Maybe some up over here. Let's 
have a look see, shall we? From what I remember, I think this is probably the trickier one to find. Just the way it is. Just a dude sitting there. We need your help. Go away. Uh nothing down there. Just run about and see if we can spot any. There we go, there it is there. So you can see it's sort of that's quite tricky to see. Because it's quite glowy, but whenever you come up to it, it kind of forms like a wee mini tree. Go away. Um, that's that's fire and bow. So you get five from them. Uh, now we will go to the moon. And the moon is haunted. So uh, we'll land at Sanctuary here. Let's see if we can get the... What do we get in from here? Helium. Helium filaments. They should be handy enough because I think they glow. Um, but you'll see, you'll see whenever we find some. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll find some. Maybe get my hopes up. But I do think the, uh, the that Byron Bow one or whatever is probably the hardest to find. For me personally, anyway, I mean, you might find others particularly tricky to to the kit and I stuff that. Anyway, don't drink and drive, kids. Should be some over here, somewhere. This. Probably isn't the most efficient way to try and find I can't keep running. Uh, materials. Like I said, you'll find them through the, possibly through the chests at the end of activities, um, and in the seasonal pass as well. Probably the uh, the best way to find them. We've just scanned a fallen catch inbound to your location. Thank you, Zavala. It's carrying walkers and other arms. Does you know the chest do, give me anything? Yes, so you might find some of these chests lying about the place that you'll get some materials and stuff as well. That's that's a good point, actually. But you see there? That's them. This is the uh, helium coils. And there you go. Moon done and dusted. And finally, on to Europa, and they're in the Eventide Ruins. Now, you will only have this um, Transmat Zone whenever you complete the Beyond Light campaign. Otherwise, you're going to have to start all the way down here and make your way up. So we'll just hop in. And we are looking for some Glacial Startboard. And I believe it's just, it is literally just a wee plant inside the container yeah can be exchanged for other resources so this I don't think this has any real main use other than exchanging for these or others but here we are Europa Let's see if we can find some in here. Mm, nope. I'll just murder my way through. Uh, is there any land about? Just glad that for this one the snowstorm hasn't blown in because um, that will make things very difficult to see. Very difficult. But 
let's have a look see if we can find anything here there might be some in here well there's definitely a chest over here which you'll should hopefully be able to get some yeah um now i wonder if i can find any for you lying about the place nope that's a dead end i don't want to go that way this might be trickier than it seems but there you go see it's actually quite big so there's your glacial Star Wars. And I think that's that's all of the Yeah, that's all the materials. So you've got your dust light, your spin metal, your microphysic data lattice, your bio bow, halo and filaments, and your glacial star wart. Um and then you get your ascended shards from vendors, completing vendor ranks, you get them in your season pass. Um and you get your exotic ciphers from Zur. So that's about it for this video. Um, thanks for watching, Guardians. Hopefully that cleared up where you get your materials from. And I'll see you in the next one.